It's unbelievable. And to think that you guys thought that I was so wrong because I was talking about semi trucks, not pickup trucks. Like it really is that like, I see it as the year of hilarious. It's the age of hilarious. But when Paul Romano calls it the age of the dummy or the year of the dummy, it's so dumb. I was there. Fact. Yeah. Iron Man bear remembers. This is not a grassroots thing. This is not grassroots. It's 100% a psyop. Why would they do that? I can think of 10 reasons. Can I predict the future? No, but none of them are good. So when the shelves are empty, now it's the anti-vax truckers who did it. Now it's all you people that think you were doing so... All people see is a mob. Do I know that you guys are there to be like, man, I want my kid to not have to wear a mask. She never did have to wear a mask. That being said, of course I understand why you guys feel good being around like-minded people. It's why I push bear meetups all the time. It's why I have uh, a social media app just for you people. I post on there maybe once a day with like a beautiful picture or something. Bertari Times app is not a place to go if you're just a fan of my comedy. I don't do jokes on there. I don't do truth or stuff. I don't post on there a lot. It's for you guys. It's for you guys to meet like-minded people and have actual, authentic, positive, constructive meetups. And you do it all over the world. This PSYOP is the opposite of that. It's taking the energy where you guys want to have a meetup. You guys want to start a community. You guys want to be around like-minded people and not have the tirelessly endless, exhausting burden of having to question everything about the system. I understand that. When you don't trust the system, it's tiring. Paul Romano talked about that, about having to read the ingredients on food because he doesn't trust food anymore. It sucks, but it's a fact. You got to read the ingredients because they're trying to poison you. Now, I don't know why, whether it's to cut corners or to weaken you. I don't know, but it's, there's poison in it. The front label will be like, oh, can't believe it's not butter, but read the back. Hydrogenated vegetable oil that causes endocrine disruptions, make you tr- literally makes you transsexual. All right, so I know the burden of that. This is what they're they're extracting from you in Ottawa. Okay, you are living a life where you can't trust the doctor. You can't trust the school. You can't try and you shouldn't, man. This is getting back to your real sovereignty is you need to do a lot more shit for yourself. That back in the day, it was assumed that every man protected himself. It was assumed that every man and woman could could raise, you know, their own kids and, and feed and clothe their own kids with their community. That's the standard version. We got into this hyper-specialized society uh, where we were drawn off the farms and drawn out of our villages and drawn out of our way of living in the natural world with God, walking with God, uh, to be hyper-specialized. And then everything about the world was told to us. That's why the people that fall for the sobs the worst are people with hyper-specialized jobs. Brain surgeons have fallen for the psyops more than anybody because all they are is a brain surgeon or like NASA engineers. Like they're so hyper-specialized that they don't know what's happening. So you take a man or woman's uh, giant spectrum of thought, spectrum of action, spectrum of perspective, and you make it this big. That's why they love this shit. That's why they love this shit, right? That's why these are symbols. It's like, you don't get the depth of vision. You have to look through one eye. Oh, he just did it. I don't care. This is why they do it. So hyper-specialized people are not connected with reality, so they don't see what's actually happening. And so you shouldn't just trust everything. Like, if you went back to the people that you think you could make America great again, like, oh, back when America was based, they wouldn't just eat anything. They wouldn't trust anything on the shelf. They all had a gun. They all knew their neighbors. They all knew what to do. They could put out their own fire and fix their own tire and recalibrate their own carburetor. And all this. They, they didn't rely on the system. Now that everyone's relying on the system, they don't have an ability to see the whole perspective. I do. It's why I don't allow other people to do my farm work. 